seven co-op tenants. When you first visit Harv's Island, you'll have a bunch of arm-swinging Lloyds hoping to be the first one to receive funds to set up a stand for their respective tenant. In clockwise order, they are Katrina, Sahara, Tortimer, Reese and Cyrus, Leaf, Red and Kix. Each one will set you back a whopping 100,000 bells, which isn't necessarily cheap, so you might want to take stock on what's most important to you. Which one was your first and why? Let us know in the comments! If you're still collecting art for your museum, I'd highly recommend unlocking Red first, mainly because of the frequency that Red coming to our islands is so infrequent, so it's really a game changer for collecting art. However, if you've done that, or collecting items is the most important, I'd recommend getting Cyrus and Reese, who allow you to customize existing items to get different color variants of them. By doing this at a cost, it gives you the chance to catalog the item. If these two are your priority, I'd suggest you next get Tortimer, who's just a glorified storage shed, which I've recently done a video on before. It's linked on the screen and in the description. He does make it easier to get items to customize and or put things away, Oh, and during Autumn, Tortimer becomes Cornimer, who gives you acorns. If you're into shoe fashion, including socks and bags, then Kix might be high on your list. Like Red, he's infrequent on your island, so this might be a great one to get a kickstart. Yeah, I meant that. On the topic of retail therapy, and you're into interior decorating, you'll definitely want Sahara. She's there for all of your wallpaper, flooring, and rug needs. Fancy yourself a gardener, or chef for that matter? Leaf comes in handy. He'll sell you flowers, bushes, as well as the new crops available in the game. This allows you to grow crops which can be used in cooking as well. To maximize crop growth, I've done a video on that too, so check at the top right of your screen. As for the weeding service, if you're curious on how many weeds does a leaf sloth need if a leaf sloth would weed weeds? That's another video of mine. Check it, top right, and in the description box below as a bonus. He's worth selling weeds to though at two times the price. Lastly is Katrina, the fortune teller. Each day she'll predict whether you'll have good or bad luck for the day. Sometimes this results in getting more money ironically. Spend money to make money they say. Sometimes it's bad luck. So personally I'd prefer to leave her till last in terms of functionality. Whilst Harriet isn't a co-op tenant, she will give you new hairstyles to use again later. What do you think? La 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 la, a little bit of Lexus. How many of the seven hairstyles have you unlocked? Harv's Island sucks. What is his island missing? Watch this video to hear what I think. Thanks AG Nation.